The country's tourism sector may take another blow as the government plans to impose a travel ban on COVID-19 hit South Korea. Meanwhile, the DOH is still tracking people who came in contact with the first three COVID-19 cases in the Philippines. Maricel Halili with the details. South Korea is the country's top tourism market. Last year, about 1.9 million Koreans visited the country. They were also the top spenders among international travelers here. But with the interagency task force mulling a travel ban on South Korea amid the spike in COVID-19 cases there, the tourism sector might take another blow. Siyempre, tinitingnan natin yung exposure risk no? um, ng ating mga kababayan who are currently working dun sa South Korea. And then of course, ang exposure risk din natin dito sa bansa. So far, there are no Filipinos in South Korea who has the virus. But the Department of Foreign Affairs still advised overseas Filipino workers to follow the Korean government's guidelines to avoid the virus. Yung lahat ng non-essential travel, kung pwede hong ilimita na lang ho, at uh, wag din hong siguro dumalaw sa mga malalaking uh, public gatherings. About 400 Filipinos in the cruise ship were supposed to be repatriated over the weekend, but it was postponed to Tuesday. The results of all the tests of the crew members uh, were not yet uh, ready. It was decided to move the date of uh, repatriation to early this week. Once repatriated, all of them will be transferred to New Clark City in Kapastarlac for a 14-day quarantine period. Meanwhile, the Department of Health and the Philippine National Police continue the contact tracing for those three confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the country. For the Chinese couple who were the first to contract the virus here, only 67 percent or 297 people out of 400 have been traced. 221 of them have been quarantined. While from the third case, only 67 percent or 172 out of the 225 contacts were traced. Kahit na nakatulong na natin ng COMELEC, nakatulong na po natin ng ibang ahensya, and uh, because yung listahan po na ibinigay nila, no, yung mga detalye nila na ibinigay ay talagang incomplete or erroneous, kaya hindi na ho natin sila mahanap. For News 5, Maricel Halili, we are One News.